Hi everyone, I'm Abel, Product Specialist at Zeiss. In this video, we're going to talk about the different methods of reading and utilizing lens data in the Syncraft Scenario system. So first of all, what do we mean by lens data? This is actually the position of the focus, iris and zoom on the physical lens barrels. Sometimes you'll hear this called phys data. With this information, Scenario is able to map the position of the lens to your virtual lens packages or VLPs. And with this information, it ensures that the phys changes of the lens you're using on your physical setup are replicated in your content. So if you were to rack your zoom 30%, the virtual lens will behave in the exact same way as expected. This is a key component of the VFX pipeline. So depending on your equipment, there are different options for reading this data and getting it into your system. We've made a lot of effort at Syncraft Scenario to support as many industry standard solutions as possible. So to make it easy for you to find something that works directly out of the box. So at a high level, let's take a quick look at the different methods of reading the lens data. Essentially, there are three primary routes that can be read into the system. These are direct from the camera via the SDI stream, by interfacing directly with the lens itself, and finally, interfacing with a lens control system. There are some hardware requirements for all three of these options. So for the rest of the video, we'll go through each one and discuss what is supported and what isn't supported. Let's begin by looking at the first option, which is reading lens data via the camera SDI signal. Currently, this method is only available when using ARRI cameras, as it takes advantage of the LDS and LDA system provided by ARRI. For many, this is the easiest option as there are no additional cables or encoding technology required. On supported cameras and lenses, the lens data is detected by the camera body via the mount, and this is then attached to the SDI signal as metadata. However, not all lenses are able to communicate directly with the camera via the mount. So for these lenses, it is still possible to use the SDI lens data but it must be injected into the camera body via the lens control system. Let's take a look at some specific combinations of cameras and lenses to highlight what actually works. Here we have an Alexa Mini with a Zeiss Supreme lens. With the lens mounted, we can see here in the camera menu that it has been detected. This is because it's able to communicate via the lens mount. With the lens correctly detected by the camera, no further work is needed to get Syncraft scenario reading the lens data. But what if we have a lens that can't communicate with the camera directly? An example would be a CP2. In this case, we can use an LBUS compatible lens control system, such as the C-Force motors, to inject this into the ARRI camera body. It's really important to stress that when working with these types of lenses, that the mapping is completed on the lens control system handset and loaded onto the camera body. The correct mapping must then be selected whenever the lens is changed. Let's now look at the second option, which is interfacing directly with the lens. This is available on all lenses that include our XD or extended data port such as the CP3 or Supremes. Because we read the data directly from the lens, this option is compatible with any camera. So it's a great alternative to the SDI option when an ARRI camera isn't being used. To read the lens data directly from the lens, it's required to plug in the Syncraft Scenario slash I and XD serial cable to the XD port on the lens. The other end of the cable is connected directly to the link or the origin into the encoder port. Once this is connected, Syncraft Scenario will be able to read all required lens data automatically. 
In situations where SDI metadata is available and the slash I and XD serial cable is connected to the lens, then Syncraft scenario will defer to using the data via the serial cable. And finally, let's look at the third category, which is reading lens data via the lens control system. This method involves using an encoder cable to read lens information directly from the motors. Because of this, it's camera and lens agnostic. We'll go through each of these available encoder cables and describe the supported combinations for each one. So first is the L-Cube cable. This encoder cable is designed to work with any L-Bus based lens motor, which includes the C-Force Mini, the C-Force Plus, and the C-Force Mini RF. Whichever motor is used, it must be connected to an L-Cube, as the encoder cable is designed to read data from the serial port of the L-Cube. In situations where the serial port of the L-Cube is already in use, then multiple L-Cubes can be daisy-chained together. Next, we have our Preston encoder. Syncraft scenario is compatible with the Preston lens control system, we simply connect the Syncraft Scenario Preston serial cable into the serial port of the MDR3 or MDR4. The Tilter Nucleus M lens control system is also supported by Syncraft Scenario via the Tilter encoder cable. The encoder cable can be connected to any of the EXT ports on the Nucleus system, as well as the handset or the motors. The Teradec RT lens control system can also be used with Syncraft Scenario by using our Teradec encoder cable. The cable is compatible with the MDR-X driver unit and connects to the IN-1 port on the driver. Please be aware that the smaller MDR-S driver is not supported. The final option when no lens control system is being used and the lens data cannot be read from any other source, there are the Synchro Scenario external encoders. This is a pair of passive encoders that are designed to read zoom and focus information only. They must be mounted onto the lens via either 15mm or 19mm rod mounts. Because the encoders are passive and simply detect movement of the lens barrel, it's important that any time a lens is changed, that a procedure called homing is conducted in the scenario software. This is essentially the same as calibrating the motors on a lens control system. We'll talk about how to do the homing procedure in another tutorial, but hopefully you should now have a good understanding of the different options that are available to read lens data with your scenario system. Thank you for watching the tutorial and we'll see you in the next one.